Good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Hi. <laughs> we all need the divine intervention this morning. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it feels like we're, we're surrendering to the greater plan. Um, yeah, and us all coming together is about really supporting one another. And that's what our um, session, lesson for today is, um, to learn about true communication and real joining. And so each Sunday we get to come together um, in joining our deep purpose, remember why we're here. So I always feel so grateful just to continue to remember that, that we are really supported and we want to really hear what is for our best. Mm. So as always, our, our day will be, our morning will be a very meditative session. So we we'll join you in that. So we'd just like to begin just by sinking in together. So if you feel comfortable, you can just close your eyes. Just allow yourself to be present. Just letting go of any agenda, any thoughts. Just allowing yourself to be here now. opening up to the greater plan. And we always want maximal healing. If there's something we need to hear, then we will hear it clearly. We want to get the most out of this time together for our greater good. Surrendering to this moment handing it over to the one in charge. Letting go of all expectations. I, who am host to God, am worthy of him. He who established his dwelling place in me created it as he would have it be. It is not needful that I make it ready for him, but only that I do not interfere with his plan to restore to me my own awareness of my readiness, which is eternal. I need add nothing to his plan but to receive it, I must be willing not to substitute my own in place of it. I am not weak, but strong. I am not helpless, but all powerful. I am not limited, but unlimited. I am not doubtful, but certain. I am not an illusion, but a reality. I cannot see in darkness, but in light. Well, thank you everyone for joining us in this prayer. 
um, it feels like it's all been a time of deep surrender for us all. Yeah, it's been like, like wiping the table and it just feels like this has been happening with many things. Like this week with all the communication, mm. it was like wiping the table too. Mm. So it feels like this has happened many times this week. Like all the ideas, all the thoughts, everything, and then it's like, let it go. And then something a lot softer comes in, mm. a lot restful. It's like, I just remember that line, like, come with holy, empty hands unto your God. Mm. Yeah, it's like um, through this you can see where you're holding on to things. I'm noticing like the reason why I don't want to join is because it might not go with my plan mm. or the idea of how I wanted things to go, my expectations, and that something could be taken away. Mm. And I think there's always that fear of something's going to be lost. I'm going to lose something. I'm going to have to do something that I don't want to do. Yeah. And um, that's not... Um, serving me or that I won't be supported if I join in a in a collaboration mm. that I might not get the support that I need um, yeah I think mm. that's been a, a big fear in this joining but it's been very interesting this week because it's been um, shown to me that that's not the case <clears throat> um, what I hated about joining was it seems to be like that we're going around and around over things so many times that it's just like, well, listen, I can just make a decision now, so, and I can be moving in that direction. But yet there's always the greater plan that wants to come through just to surrender to that. <clears throat> mm. And just maybe that plan might be better than what I actually think is best for me. And yeah, that, it's just like entering into that humbleness. It's like... I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, we had a big shift last night, didn't we? Because we all moved rooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I could see like this playing again with this like sacrifice idea and fear of loss and all of that was happening last night. Uh, our friend Jenny moved into the house last night and we had to prepare a room for her and everything was like set up like nice and we thought it was a nice idea and everything and then when we came later today like that yesterday was like we didn't even join we didn't join we didn't really feel together what was the guidance and which room we were meant to be in this new phase and like that makes all the difference so it just felt like last night was many, many shifts, like we all change rooms. <laughs> we, we each moved into the different room that we were in. And it was like, what's going on? And like this huge fear of, I'm going to lose something. It's like someone took the rug out of the floor or something. And yeah, it just, it just really felt like something shook, like mm. something something new wanted to come in and we were so fixed and this is how it should be and then it was like pfft, wipe it again just wipe it and just be open to the plan but i could see jenny that she was like in this such a beautiful humble space like oh, i don't know which one which one is my room but i just want to be open to the guidance and i just want to be open to the spirit and that softened something inside so much because I was like, I don't want to change my room. Like, I don't want to change. I don't want to move. Like, like that fear of change. Yeah. Yeah, and with that, I could see that last night I was going through a lot of that fear and a lot of that feelings that I'm going to lose something. Uh, sacrifice and... I just had this really powerful dream. It was that I was driving in the middle of the night and 
I stopped somewhere and then I saw that someone wanted to get in the car to steal something. I asked, and, and as I noticed that, I just took off. And then I saw that he was inside the house next to me, inside the car next to me, sitting. And then I knew I just had to drive to back to the house or something. And when I got there, we just walked out of the car and he was still trying to get into the car, still trying to get to do, to steal something. And something just like moved me with some such a strength or uncertainty. I just went to him and I just put my hand like this on his shoulder. And I said, what, what do you need? Like, what do you really need? Like, what do you want? Like, it just felt like, like very deep. Like I was just holding on to him and he just started crying and crying and crying. And I was just like holding him. Like there was like this sadness coming out. And then I just like, we just put our foreheads next to each other like this. And we just like had like a, some kind of little meditation there. And it just felt like such a release, like we we're talking more about it this morning, but it really meant like facing that fear of losing something. I just faced it in the face and I was, after the dream like finished, I was like, like awake, like that actually happened. Like it wasn't like when you feel it's a dream, somehow I felt like it happened. It actually did happen. Like I just faced this fear and yeah it's like nothing is gonna be taken away and I felt so much love for for him for this figure yeah yeah it was interesting for me actually all the changes because it, it felt actually good mm. in changing all the rooms and normally when a big change like that comes in I normally have like a a reaction to it, but it felt it felt really good. It feels like you started again, mm. and it's like, yeah, I make these assumptions that this is how it's going to be, but um, when someone else comes, it's like, oh, okay, it's now a deeper prayer to come together. What is what is most helpful? And now we still don't know, and we're just feeling it out in any given moment. Mm -hmm. And I think that's been my prayer to not make those decisions on my own in a way like what Jeffrey's show has been showing us all, all the time, not to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. So it just feels really important to do that and to remember that and to come together on everything yeah. so we can really hear what is going to serve. And I, I was thinking about um, the beginning of the course lessons and coming back to, to, the, to the basics. It always feels really important to go there. So I'd like to just share a couple of lessons with you. And just again, just so we can just drop in and just really feel these deep teachings and to remember their significance in our mind training. So if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes again and just relax into yourself. I have given what I see all the meaning it has for me. I have judged everything I look upon and it is this and only this I see. This is not vision. It is merely an illusion of reality because my judgments have been made quite apart from reality. I am willing to recognize the lack of validity in my judgments because I want to see. My judgments have hurt me and I do not want to see according to them.
I do not understand anything I see. How could I understand what I see when I have judged it amiss? What I see is the projection of my own errors of thought. I do not understand what I see because it is not understandable. There is no sense in trying to understand it. But there is every reason to let it go and make room for what can be seen and understood and loved. I can exchange what I see now for this merely by willing to do so. Is not this a better choice than the one I made before? It just feels so restful to let go of those judgments. Mm. It feels so good. Like, are you open to seeing that the way you see it is not the way it is? Mm. Can I show you something better? I guess that was my process last night, that I was... with all these judgments of how it, it, it should be or things like that, and then... it's like... The Spirit just saying, can I show you something new? Can you let it go so that I can retranslate this for you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think my prayer is that I want to really know that I'm supported. Um, I think it's been something very hard for me to reach out to. And I had a um, beautiful experience of that this week. Um, I wrote a Peace for the Awakening from the Dream online retreat because I was really excited about the Christmas the Christmas theme and <clears throat> so I wanted to write something but I needed someone to proofread it and no one was like available in the house and Kristen said why don't you put it out on we have we have like a board whereby <laughs> we can um, put it out to more people and she said why don't you ask the extension team if someone there can support you and straight away there was this massive resistance towards that like Mm. no I don't want to do that because I'll probably be rejected and no one's Mm. going to want to help me that was like the first thing and I was like oh I don't know and um, she she kind of convinced me like yeah put it out on there and so I did really need that support because Mm. we had so many other things to do so I had this (laughs) short window as well to get it out um, because we were going out so I put it out there um Can anyone support me in proofreading this? And I'll just, all of this doubt come in. No one's going to want to help you. Everyone's too busy. Um, Just a a whole, it just felt really, really mm, horrible inside. (laughs) Like, why did I do that? I felt weak. Um, And then straight away, um, Jessica comes back to me. I can help you out in an hour if that's okay. And it's like, oh no, I'm going out in an hour. So that didn't work, but straight away I'd had some support. So it was like, Mm -hmm. okay, so (laughs) what I believed, yeah, that belief, okay, someone does actually want to support me. Okay, that feels good. And then the next minute I didn't know that actually Jeff was already proofreading it (laughs) without even me knowing. Then he goes, then I get a ping. He goes, here it is. I've already proofread it. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. (laughs) And then... Uh, literally at the same time as their message came through, that's right, Carolina messaged me and said, I'm free now. She came in first, actually, and then Jeff's message come through. And I said, yeah, great, let, let, let's join on it. And I said, yeah, bring whatever you feel to the table and go through it all. 
And she said to me, wow, it was really funny because I was sat at my computer, I'd just come back from lunch and did not have a clue how to move on with any of my projects. And she was just sitting there in meditation and feeling this sort of like bit of agitation, like, oh, what do I do now? And just as she come out of the meditation, ping come through my message. And she was like, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing next. Mm. And so we then just had this really, really beautiful like collaboration and it just felt so good. And just some of the bits that she, 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 she put in, it was like she knew exactly how I wanted to say it, mm. but I didn't quite say it in the paper. And there she was, she was like typing away on the thing and I'm thinking, is she changing all my stuff? <laughs> so there was that like control on there. It was like, no, just trust. And there was a lot, I could hear a keypad ty typing away there and I'm thinking, I hope she's not spoiling it. And then we read it back together and it was like just this really beautiful piece. And I was just so grateful. I was like, oh, thank you so much. And it was like for the both of us that like, it just felt so, so good. And it just like lifted me completely up. So yeah, I just felt like, yeah, it was a big turning point. Like mm. I'm, I'm with you. I really do want to support you. So support is here. I'm always with you. Mm. And then I got this, to have this beautiful joining with my brother, which was just the... The, the, the great thing that it all came in. And I, so I had Jeff, Jessica and Carolina. So it just felt like, oh, this beautiful then gift could go out on Facebook to share with everybody this beautiful collaboration. Oh, so mm. <laughs> that was a relief. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the miracle just came rushing in for yeah. you. Yeah. It was so beautiful because I was part of the whole thing and then it was like, yeah, sorry, I can't help you right now. <laughs> yeah, and you then were you too sent busy. the message, and I was so excited with you. It's mm. like, see, we all love you. We all love you. We love you. Yeah. And it's like this, the spirit is saying, I love you. I'm here with you. Mm. Yeah. And you know, it's like, like I just really want to sink into that, whatever I'm doing in the day like he's with me he's with me and invite him into every activity and maybe I forget for a whole hour two hours three hours but it's like I just really want to come back again like all right I just really want to nurture that relationship and even this time that we're gonna have our rooms Mm. different rooms <coughs> like this change it just feels like it's just for for us to keep nurturing like it just feels very soft mm -hmm. like nurturing that connection nurturing our like the true joining with our brothers not out of weakness mm. or needing something from the other but just like a heart to heart joining Yeah, just allowing yourself to receive the, the guidance. And I thought, I, th I was thinking about that this morning and it was like, I want to give, I want to be truly helpful. Mm -hmm. And often I forget to receive, like it's okay to receive the love of God. It's okay to receive the guidance of what's right. And in that joining with my brother, it's like, I really want to receive the absolute guidance, mm. receive the gift for both. That's what's going to lift us both up. Mm -hmm. It's not about, am I going to get my needs met? <laughs> no. And, oh, well, if you don't, that's just your hard luck. Oh. It's like that's not what the, what the plan of joining is, that everybody's going to be lifted up in that. Mm. It just feels really, really, really beautiful. Yeah. Fairly. Yeah, so that's the gift that we want to give to everybody is just keep allowing yourself to receive whatever it is that's needed for you and hopefully that's coming through now and for you it was accepting the receiving part and for me it was yeah embracing the giving part mm. yeah so giving as receiving is the same yes so i want to invite you into our last prayer today he just found this most beautiful part, so I really hope you really, really enjoy this. This just lifted me up completely. <laughs> so, 
Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> so you can allow yourself to close your eyes again and go inwards. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. The strength in you will offer you the light and guide your seeing so you do not dwell on idle shadows that the body's eyes provide for self-deception. Strength and light unite in you and where they meet, your self stands ready to embrace you as its own. Such is the meeting place we try today to find and rest in, for the peace of God is where yourself, his son, is waiting now to meet itself again and be as one. Let yourself be brought unto yourself. Its strength will be the light in which the gift of sight is given you. Leave then the dark a little while today and we will practice seeing in the light, closing the body's eyes and asking truth to show us how to find the meeting place of self and self where light and strength are one. Let us repeat as often as we can the idea for today and recognize that we are being introduced to sight and led away from darkness to the light where only miracles can be perceived. Miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. Be in my mind, my Father, through the day. Be in my mind, my Father, when I wake, and shine on me throughout the day today. Let every minute be a time in which I dwell with you. And let me not forget my hourly thanksgiving that you have remained with me and always will be there to hear my call to you and answer me. As evening comes, let all my thoughts be still of you and of your love. And let me sleep sure of my safety, certain of your care, and happily aware I am your son. for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>